Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today I'm going to be talking about how you can start mining Bitcoin using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer in less than 10 minutes here in 2024. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the amazing tips and tricks I have to help you earn more Bitcoin mining with your Windows computer in 2024. So before we dive into the video, I always do like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, taking a look at what's going on in crypto, just as a point of reference if you are watching this video in the future. So feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes if you're not interested in this portion of the video. But overall, as you can see, we are up about 0.65% today across the board to a total market cap of 2.31 trillion. Now, with that being said, we are still seeing some red across the board on the week chart here, but starting to see a little bit of an increase in price, which is great to see. Now, Bitcoin's halving is less than three days away, two days and 21 hours, which is awesome. And traditionally, this has triggered a bull run causing crypto, specifically Bitcoin, to hit new all-time highs. So with that being said, now could be one of the best times to start mining Bitcoin, building up your holdings, and, you know, earning as much as you can. Now, we probably don't need to dive too far into it. If you are watching this video, you are already aware of what Bitcoin is and how it is the number one cryptocurrency. It's the original. It is number one by market cap, by volume, you know, all of that. So very, very cool. Well, maybe not volume, but anyways, super cool. Now, how do you start mining this? Because traditionally, you need very powerful ASIC computers to mine Bitcoin. Well, we are using a site called Unminable. Now, what's really cool about this is it allows you to mine coins that are not traditionally mineable. You might be thinking, well, Bitcoin is a mineable coin. It's POW. Yes, but like I mentioned, you have to have very, very powerful ASIC computers, which are loud, generate a lot of heat, and use a lot of power. Not really suitable for most people's homes. But if you have a Windows-based computer with a decent CPU or GPU, you can start mining this using a algorithm that is most profitable for you. Now, if you're not familiar with what algorithms are most profitable, I would recommend checking out whattomine.com. It's a great site that allows you to enter in your specific hardware and it tells you what is most profitable for you. Now, I know for me with a 2080 from NVIDIA, the Kapow algorithm is most profitable. So if you are watching this relatively close to when it was uploaded, you may be able to just assume that Kapow is best for you, but I always do recommend checking what to mine so that you aren't missing out on any profits. But what you're going to want to do is select get started with our wizard. They have a basic and an advanced mode. I will say that basic is sufficient for 99% of people. But if you are looking to specify your region, your port, your server, workers, things like that, go ahead and use advanced. Here you can choose CPU or GPU. Now I'm going to be going GPU, but if you are going with CPU, this will just give you a different selection of algorithms. That is pretty much the only difference. So here you can see all of the algorithms that you can choose from. Again, I'm going to be going with Kapow. Feel free to use what's best for your hardware, but that shouldn't change the process too much. And of course, we are talking about Bitcoin, but I do want to take a second to say that if you are looking to earn any other coins, maybe you've gotten to this point and found some coins like Polygon or Book of Memes, Slurf, uh, Shiba Inu is on here, Dog with Hat. If, the, if those coins look more interesting than Bitcoin to you, feel free to choose one of those. All you'll need to do is enter in the correct address for that, and that's it. The site, this tutorial will work the same for any of the coins here on the site. But of course, I'm choosing Bitcoin. You enter in your address, which I will say, please double check, triple check that this is correct. If it's wrong and you mine to it, you won't get paid out. You will still be able to mine. Everything will look normal. But when it comes time for payment, it just simply won't show up in your wallet. You can't always come back and change this, but you can't get the coins you mined onto it uh, you know, once, once you've started mining. So do make sure that it is correct. 
And finally, the last step here is if you have a referral code, which I do have one that I can share with you, Bitcoin-TIPS, capital B, capital T. This code will actually lower your pool fee by 25%, meaning you get to keep more of the Bitcoin that you are mining. This is super cool because essentially what it is is here on Unminable, you have a 1% fee. Now, to keep it easy, if you mine 100 Bitcoin, obviously you're going to be very happy, but... If you mine 100 Bitcoin, you are going to pay one Bitcoin to Unminable. Now, if you mine that Bitcoin, 100 of them in a day, you're going to pay the one coin. If you mine them in 10 years, you're going to pay that one Bitcoin. It doesn't matter what the price is. You're always going to pay that. But using this referral code will lower that down by 25%. So you are only paying 0.75 of a Bitcoin per 100 that you mine. Now, of course, you can adjust that. But you get to save 25% of your crypto. So go ahead and say next, or if you don't want to use that, pay the higher fee. That's your decision. Go ahead and say continue without referral code. Here is the final step where you download your miner and get started. Now, I personally really like G Miner, so that's going to be the one I'm using for this tutorial, but you can feel free to choose any of the miners they have listed here. The only thing I will call out is if you are choosing something like Team Red or T-Rex, ensure that it is supported with your hardware because these ones only support NVIDIA or AMD. Whereas with Gminer, it supports both. So what you're going to want to do is select Download Miner Files. This is going to take you to the GitHub where you choose the Windows 64 zip file. Go ahead, download this, and extract it. If you do not extract the file, it will not run. Uh, so if you are running into errors, make sure that you have gotten everything extracted. Then what you're going to want to do is come over to Unminable and select this download.bat file. Once you download this, you're going to drag and drop that into the same folder as your G miner or whatever miner you're using setup. Now, I want to take a quick second to call out that when you download the G miner program or whatever miner you're using and the .bat file, you will most likely get a call out in your browser saying, hey, you're downloading an unverified file. Are you sure you want to continue? You are going to have to say yes if you want to continue mining. Now, if you are not comfortable doing that on your computer, the simple answer is don't. Unfortunately, there is no workaround. This is a pretty common thing with mining. It's not just an unminable thing. It's not a G minor thing. You're going to run into this with whatever program you're using. So if you're not comfortable doing that, simply don't. I can say I've used this site on many computers, many, uh, you know, GPU mining rigs, many different algorithms, coins, all of that. I've never had any issues, but that does not mean you will have the same experience. So once you've done that, what you're going to want to do is put that file into the same folder as your Gminer, uh, you know, the file that you extracted here. And then all you have to do is double click it. As you can see, I get a Windows Defender pop up saying, hey, we've protected your PC. Again, you will have to save more info and run anyway. If you're not comfortable doing that, simply don't. At this point, we are 7 minutes and 52 seconds into this recording, and we are up and mining Bitcoin using my RTX 2080, mining on the Kapow algorithm. So this is super cool. Very easy to use, as you just saw. Just a couple things I like to call out here. It does take 15 to 30 minutes for the stats to start showing up here on the website when you've started mining Bitcoin. If you don't see any stats populate and your window looks similar to mine here, no red text, no errors, anything like that, you are mining. If it takes over an hour, we may need to uh, troubleshoot. Feel free to leave a comment and possibly reach out to the unminable support team. Now. On the other side, when you're ready to stop mining, maybe you want to use your computer, you want to shut it down, go to bed, whatever it might be, go ahead, find the window, and hit X. As long as that is fully closed out, you see it's not minimized, anything like that, you are no longer mining. Now, the only reason I like to call that out is because here on Unminable, you may actually see your stats and even payments continue to come in to your Unminable balance for up to an hour after stopping that miner. It's a little strange. I've seen some questions about it in the past, but as long as that CMD window is fully closed, you are no longer mining. 
So with that being said, the link to Unminable as well as that Bitcoin tips referral code is down below. I highly recommend you check this out, whether you're mining Bitcoin or any other coin here on Unminable. That referral code will work and save you that 25% on your fee for any of the coins here on the site. So again, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe to Bitcoin Tips to stay up to date on all things crypto. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video.